Division 1 match of the round, legacy action now. Oliver King at the top against Dylan Magica at the bottom. Dylan recorded this, so we're seeing his hand. He says he's on a new deck. I don't know if that means uh, a new brew that he has. It doesn't really look like it, or if he's just trying out something else because he was playing stacks, beat me with stacks, and then he got beat in last week by a pretty quirky deck. Oliver's on the same deck he's played pretty consistently for a number of seasons now which is death and taxes and legacy uh, i'm not sure what the matchup for death and taxes is like for for um well, he's buried alive yeah i'm not sure what death and taxes against grixis is like in terms of a matchup What's he going to name a Phyrexian Revoker here? This is interesting. Let me just have a look. We'll bring up the... Uh, he named Liliana the last type, so I'm, guess, I'm guessing that's just a wild guess. Cabal Therapy, two of them in hand. I think he might want to shuffle one away here. He's got three of them, actually. Um... I'm curious to know how he's going to get those phoenixes into the graveyard. Well, he's going to shuffle them anyway, so he doesn't want them at this stage. So he plays the underground seas. Going to thought seas. We'll get another look at the hand. Palace jailer again. I think this is, or is it the same one? I think he took it last time. Swords to plowshares is down. Yeah, this this deck from Oliver. It's a quirky kind of one. It, it just individually the pieces are pretty crappy but together they just are very effective and he's picked up a hell of a lot of legacy wins with this deck and it's just one ones and two twos it kind of just grind you down here's flicker wisp so he's, he's trying to go for the quick victory here it's cabal therapy gonna name palace jailer so that's out of the hand because um it was the last card in all of his hand he knew that think you want to yeah shuffle that away it's not really clear why he plays lotus petal normally lotus petal i believe is played to um so russian and port's going to tap something down here going to go for the red source uh yeah lotus petals played as a mana ramp so, okay there's tomb stalker so this is definitely a delve deck um but yeah it, in terms of the lotus petal it's not really clear what he's trying to ramp into at the stage should probably look at his hand like right now there doesn't seem to be anything he's got dark rituals as well so here's tomb stalker that's a five five for eight mana but delved so that's going to check the flicker wisp because uh he was actually dead on board this turn if felix uh i'm gonna have to do something to myself every time I, I do that. Uh, Oliver uses Mother of Ruin to give Flickwist protection from black and push through three, so it's going to be lethal next turn. I think he's got this one. Uh, one. Yep, uh, Dylan needed a land there. And he's going to uh, he's going to concede, so we're going to game two now. Okay, we can see young Pyromancer, and just nicely, a braid probably came in from the sideboard, so that's going to be take down that ether vial. He's going to go dark ritual here for buried alive. What did he put? He put the arc light phoenixes into the grave. Now I'm, I'm just going to, and they all come back now because that's his third. So it's very nice. Okay, so he told me he had something quirky going on. Now I see what it is. Uh, this is buried alive. I'm just going to bring it up on my scryfall because I'm not familiar with it. Search your library for three creature cards, put them in the graveyard, then shuffle your library. Okay, so yeah, if Oliver quickly concedes there, so we're going to game three. That makes sense. So buried alive into Arclight Phoenix. Uh, Lotus Petals are zero, obviously, then a zero mana to probably ramp, but also counters one of the spells. 
So he flashes in containment priest in response. Um, that so it's interesting here. You can see the fairy macabre, the battle skull, the flicker wisp, and the sword splashes. Fairy macabre is down. Uh, he flashed in containment priest, so he obviously values at the highest. Uh, buried alive is a pretty good one. I think he'd be tempted to keep that. Yeah, he's going to keep it because he's got dark ritual. I don't think he's got enough here. Dark ritual one, two, three. He can two, he's got access to five mana. I think he needs six. What do you take here? He's going to take the removal spell, the sword supply shares. Goes for the snuff out. Containment priest down. Is that the third spell? This is the, definitely the third one. I think he's got this one again. It's a nice play. Back come all the phoenixes. Um, Oliver's. I've only seen Swords to Plowshares as the only thing that can actually deal with this. So okay, so Flicker Wisp is going to trade with an with an Arc Light Phoenix. Buried Alive doesn't work, I guess, once you've pulled the combo off once. Lethal on board. We, are we going to see a concession coming up right now? He needs a removal spell or a flicker wisp to keep this game going. I don't think he's going to find it, so it looks like Dylan's going to take a legacy. 2-1. 